Welcome to another episode of The Reading Corner. This is Zuri Davis, and this week we're going to dive into an incredible story that I can't wait to share with you. It's titled Last Stop on Market Street by Matt de la Pena with illustrations by Christian Robinson. The cover of this book is covered in vibrant hues, so I can already tell that the story is going to be just as vibrant. I'm going to read you the preview that's on the inside of the book jacket. It says, On Sundays, CJ and his Nana ride the bus across town to their stop on Market Street. But today, CJ's not happy about it. Today, he's wondering out loud why they have to wait in the rain and why they don't have a car like his other friends. But it's Nana who opens young CJ's eyes and shows him the real beauty in the world around them the spirit of the bustling city, the music in everyday life, and the magic of their often overlooked neighbors. Mmm, sounds good. Let's dive into it. But before we do, I want you to open your Seesaw reading journal to page two, titled Notice and Wonder. It's okay if you only have a notebook you can physically write in. Either way, I want you to jot down the things that you notice on one side of your paper and what you wonder or have questions about on the other. Do this as I read to you, or if you have a copy of your own, pause to jot down what you're thinking as we read Last Stop on Market Street. Let's begin. CJ pushed through the church doors, skipped down the steps. The outside air smelled like freedom, but it also smelled like rain, which freckled CJ's shirt and dripped down his nose. He ducked under his Nana's umbrella saying, how come we gotta wait for the bus in all this wet? Trees get thirsty too, his Nana told him. Don't you see that big one drinking through a straw? CJ looked for a long time, but never saw a straw. From the bus stop, he watched water pool on water on flower petals, watched rain patter against the windshield of a nearby car. His friend Colby climbed in and gave CJ a wave and drove off with his dad. Nana, how come we don't got a car? Boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus that breathes fire and old Mr. Dennis who always has a trick for you. The bus creaked to a stop in front of them. It sighed and sagged and the doors swung open. What's that I see? Mr. Dennis asked. He pulled a coin from behind CJ's ear, placed it in his palm. Nana laughed her deep laugh and pushed CJ along. They sat right up front. The man across the way was tuning a guitar. The old woman with curlers had butterflies in a jar. Nana gave everyone a great big smile and a good afternoon. She made sure CJ did the same. The bus lurched forward and stopped, lurched forward and stopped. Nana hummed as she nicked. How come we always gotta go here after church? CJ said. Miguel and Colby never have to go nowhere. I feel sorry for those boys, she told him. They'll never get a chance to meet Bobo or the sunglass man. And I hear Trixie got herself a brand new hat. CJ stared out the window, feeling sorry for himself. He watched the cars zip by on either side, watched a group of boys pop curbs on bikes. Hmm. Let's pause here, friends. Based on the text, why do you think CJ's feeling sorry for himself? Have you ever been frustrated that you had to go somewhere you didn't really want to go? Hold on to that thought, because that's all the time that we have today. Remember where we've left off, and don't forget to leave a comment telling me your predictions for the story. Until next time, keep reading. 